Welcome back. Today again, we're going with another big heavy hitter. Blanton's straight from the barrel, 133.3 proof. Is it worth it? Does it taste as good as Blanton's? Is it better than regular Blanton's? Should you run out hair on fire and trying to find it, pay astronomical prices for it? Stay tuned and find out. Welcome back. Like I just said, we're talking today about Blanton straight from the barrel, 133.3 proof. Is it worth hunting for? Is it worth and tastes better than regular Blanton's? Let's see. I found this at the video I did on the explosive huge thing I got from uh, Total Wine and Novi. A lot of people were skeptical um, that I even found this. And I even showed a picture on Michigan Bourbon Club with the receipt. Now, again, this was for what they had up there was 129 MSRP. I know a lot of other places are showing 149, 155. I got this for 129 and whatever the tax was. So 135 ish. So again, when I saw it, I'm like, I've, I can get regular Blantons from Kroger. I have a line and a woman that is a, a great individual and she gets some Blantons in Buffalo Trace, Eagle Rare. I usually like more the Eagle Rare because it's like $34, 35 bucks. Blanton's like about $65. I've had two bottles. I gave a bottle away. Actually, I had three bottles. I gave a bottle away, a buddy of mine, Brandon. Bland's is good. I mean, is it $65 good? To me, no. Um, the Alina that I did a video on, the Mayor Pingree five-year-old 94 proof for 50 bucks blows that thing off the water. I thought it was far better. Um, but you can also get like Elijah Craig's, uh, what is it, 1792, all small batches that are a little more proofy, 90-ish, 94 I think that are better than Blanton's and readily you can go out in a store and you can find them. You don't have to hunt it down or pay like when the guy goes, hey, buddy, I got Blanton's, $110. You buy now? No, because that's literally double MSRP. 65 bucks. yeah. Hopefully with Buffalo Trace now releasing more product because they built, I think it was anywhere between five to seven Rick houses, they can start pumping this stuff out, which would be nice and would bring the price down to a normal level. And allow normal people to find this without having to basically do the whole 1980 Cabbage Patch Kids and run each other down to get a bottle of this. Okay, enough of the history, enough into this. We all know this is a Buffalo Trace mash number, mash bill number two. It's speculated to be anywhere between 13 to 15 percent rye because there's no real, um, you know, corn, rye, malted barley breakdown on the mash bill. It's rumored to be about six ish years old. And this one here that I got, which was dumped on 7722 from barrel number 1588 in warehouse H and Rick number 27. It's 133.3 proof. Had a little bit of little bit out of it. And I, it was really good. Now this has been sitting a bit, so let's see what it's like. Got into the bottle, got into the history. Like I always say, what's the nose like? Let's get into it. Right away, I get raisins in an orange citrusy zest note. It's not unpleasant. It's definitely a punch up from regular Blanton's. Regular Blanton's has like almost like a eagle rare-ish kind of smell to it. Like a grape, I'm not gonna, this really date me with, the, if I make a mash reference, uh, Radar used to drink grape knee-high and I've had grape knee-high from Ohio. So that's what it reminds, that grape soda note. And you get a toasted note, but it's more pronounced. It's up there in your nose. But that dried fruit, the raisin note, it's right up there. Got into the nose? Let's get into that first taste. Whoa. It is viscous, mouth coating. It hits the top of the palate, rolls back. It's heavy, th thick syrupy vanilla butterscotch and honestly for 133.3 proof that kentucky hug is about right here and it's just a little hey how are you i love you 
that's what it's like. Very, very subtle. Very nice. Very good, honestly. And that finish is still going. I bet, like, if I breathed out, you probably see vapor. Let's get into a second taste. Oh, that butterscotch note, with the honey and a vanilla, but it's hot. But it's not hot. Like, ooh, like when I've had some stags. When I first got the stag 15, that was really punchy hot. This isn't. This is just delicious. You definitely can almost taste like you're pouring it straight out of the barrel into your glass. So what I say, is it worth hunting and being patient for and getting it for MSRP anywhere between, let's just say, 130 to 155? Hell yes. I'm going to say that. Is it better than regular old Blanton 90 Prover? Oh, by far. Seriously, by far. This is like, hey man, I've graduated college with a PhD and I'm just entering college and don't, don't want to do with my life, but God knows I'm going to eat a lot of ramen noodles while I'm there. That's what this is like. This, if you can find for 60, 65 bucks, pick it up, get the grenade, collect the tops. I'm not into that. I always give my tops away. If anybody asks for them, I give them away. But is this worth it to find if you can find it for MSRP and be patient? Yeah. If you're paying $350, $400, and I've seen on Unicorn Auctions and Barrel Tap anywhere between $499 and $500, no, it's not. Not at all. If you have that kind of cash and you want to blow it and get that, more power to you, awesome. You can get this. This is $65, and this is $130 to $155. Get it. It's damn good. Like I always say, I'm your host, Brian. This is the Average Whiskey Drinker channel. Find a bottle. Open the bottle. Enjoy that bottle. Because good whiskey, 90 proof and 133.3 proof, is always meant to be shared. Thank you so much. Like, comment, subscribe. Tell me below, have you had either one of these? What do you prefer? Have you had a gold or a black or the Japanese version, the red or the green? Let me know what you think. And I will talk with you all soon. Thanks for watching.